everybody looking over this way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take these all day, I'll just be something different. That'll be fun. Thank you all very much for coming and for joining us on uh, what has become a really important milestone in our campaign for The Walking Dead, which is the FIC press breakfast. We're just getting started. Today's our big Great. day. Great. We've got uh, this fantastic breakfast with Fox International, and then we have our panel uh, in the big Hall H with 6,500 fans. So we're really excited. Um, Any weird uh, fans, super fans? We met a very nice fan on the, on the way up in the lift. On the elevator. Yeah, oh, really? very polite fan. Oh, very said, polite. Yeah, it was very, nice. very surprised to find himself. Yeah. A bit shocked. Oh, surrounded by another joining as well. Great. <laughs> so, uh, so what do you have planned for today? What are you looking forward to? Uh, Surviving? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty hectic for us, but it's fantastic. I mean, it, uh, we love Comic Con, and each year has been just as crazy and as wild. And uh, and hopefully this year will be the same. Pretty crazy. I mean, there's people all over the world watching the show, and they they write to us and stuff. It's it's pretty exciting. Really? Yeah, you guys are doing a great job. You know, I'm really excited about our panel today, uh, showing everybody the uh, the new footage and the third season and everything, and getting everybody excited. I think that's going to be awesome. So uh, I'm really uh, really stoked to start to get some feedback on all the hard work everybody's been putting into this show. The Walking Dead was not a one-off for Fox International channels. It was definitely our first and biggest content initiative. We are here to present the 2012 Game Changer Award that was voted on by the Spike viewing public. Now, the recipient of this award is Robert Kirkman, the creator of Walking Dead. And to help me present this award to you, if you want to know who is Julie. Hi there, I just wanted to say it's uh, an honor and a privilege to try and uh, breathe life into this masochistic uh, role of uh, Rick Grimes. And I just want to say this is the most terrifying, shiny and scary award I've ever seen. And uh, I just want to say congratulations and thank you. Thank you very much. How do you feel about this fantastic award? I'm going to wear this all day. would agree this is like the coolest TV show ever made right I mean it's people hacking up zombies and doing awesome stuff but there's also like tremendous emotional impact and all kinds of like it, you get really invested in these characters and uh, you want to come back for more first I uh, I credit our award winner here Robert Kirkman uh, for creating I think the the best ongoing zombie story um, and the and obviously the show I think is popular because of the characters. Um, but we have, a, we have a fear of death. We have a fear of what would happen if we really didn't die and we came back. Um, and, I, and I think that's 
across all cultures. And clearly the interesting thing with Fox International is in their 122 territories and 35 languages, um, it is a success everywhere. So there's something that speaks to all cultures about the fear of zombies. We don't shy away from anything. I think we, we're, um, uh, you know, we're trying to be faithful, a uh, faithful adaptation to the comic book, which is visceral, violent, shocking, and that's something that I'm proud to say we do on a daily basis. You know, and and I think that as long as it's not gratuitous, as long as it's not over the top, and it really has some emotional resonance for our characters, I think that'll be pretty exciting to the audience. What's the what's the challenge for you uh, moving forward into season three? I think just to d keep doing what we're doing, really. I mean, it is, like you say, it's, uh, it, it is the sort of dream part. And, um, and, I, and I just love playing this guy. And if we uh, can move down to your wife in the series, Sarah Wayne, of course, Sarah Wayne Callis, who plays Lloyd. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, the storyline that's unfolding between you two is extraordinary. And I imagine uh, terrific for you to be able to get your teeth into as well. It's amazing. Um, I think Andy and I have had a really great time being miserable together. <laughs> it's true. I mean, it's it's been a really horrible marriage in a lot of ways, and a really beautiful one. Uh, but I, you know, I agree with everything Andy said. I think this is, at its heart, for me, a story about a family, and what what the Walkers allow us to do is to push that family beyond the limits of who they ever thought they could become. Representing the redneck community on television here, filling up the quota there. Uh, but I believe you, you I, am I right in thinking you get a lot of fan mail, you get a lot of stuff sent to you, you get a lot of stuff to fill your trailer with from, from uh, hot fans? It's, it's obscene. Yeah. Um, I, I was actually just thinking that I had one girl come up to me and she, I was at a thing sort of like this and she walked this long pathway up and she handed me a plastic bag with wet meat in it <laughs> and I, I looked at her and she goes it's a squirrel she goes I hunted it down with a shovel <laughs> and then turned around and walked off wow. but yeah I get a lot of a lot of weird wow. stuff you know it's, it's weird for Daryl because he's he's you know this abused sort of uh, he's the younger brother of Merle you know so he's all constantly put down and you know a backstory in my mind he was constantly put down and humiliated and was never good enough. So once he's out of the picture and other people start to see Daryl's worth and he can feel it and feel like he's part of something, you know, a group and, you know, uh, they welcome him in. He, it's kind of the reverse role of a lot of the cast members because they're being torn away from things and I'm kind of finding a world that I can flourish in. So, you know, so it's, it's kind of working out in Daryl's favor. What I can say is, um you know, I was saved at the last moment by uh, the wonderful Michonne, who I know that fans are very excited to meet. Um, I think it's fair to say that they become the best of friends, um, and it's a wonderful relationship, and I love the fact that there's these two alpha females that are strong, that have embraced each other, and trust one another, and are um, trying to survive, and they have each other's backs. Um, It'll be interesting to see if my character ever meets up with this other group of survivors. Um, they didn't leave me a note on the highway. <laughs> yeah, huge changes coming up. I think for one, Maggie leaving the farm and still getting to be with her family, but in a totally new world, really seeing what, what's out there, like the group has seen, but also getting badass. <laughs> I mean, it was funny because I, um, I was mentioning to Glenn, and I think I sounded kind of crazy, but after I got the role, I was like, you know, I used to be in the gym, you know, and I'd be working out and looking at myself in the mirror and saying, I just want to kill somebody on screen. You know? <laughs> and he was like, okay. But like, you know, just that energy of this, you know, uh, being able to play someone who gets to be that active. <laughs>